So Fallout 4 on Xbox One finally has mods. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install them. Okay. And PlayStation 4 will actually be getting mods. I guess Microsoft has this whole deal with Bethesda where they get it first or whatever. So if you go on to Fallout 4 on your Xbox One, you'll see right under add-ons it has mods. This menu that's about to pop up for me will not pop up for you. Okay, so this menu that just popped up for me will not actually pop up for you for the first time. It's going to ask you to log into your Bethesda.net account. If you don't have one, you can't do it actually inside the game. You can't make an account inside the game. You have to go on your computer or tablet or whatever and make a Bethesda.net account. Then come back into the game and log into your Bethesda.net account. So once you're on, you'll be greeted with this. You won't have a My Library thing unless you download one of the mods. Uh, but you'll have Most Popular this week and a whole bunch of stuff like that. We're going to go down to one of the companion mods. And I tried to download this yesterday when it very first I tried to do this video yesterday when it very first came out, which was Tuesday. However, it caused a lot of issues. There was a lot of problems going on, a lot of people trying to jump on so the servers went down a lot. So we're going to go right here and we're going to go ahead and go to this mod. I like this mod. So when you find a mod that you like, you go ahead and hit download. It's going to say downloading and it's going to give you a percentage, okay? Now, you cannot exit out to the main menu while mods are downloaded. It's going to say, whoa, downloads are still in progress. Are you sure you want to exit? If you hit yes, it's going to stop your downloads. Okay? When your download, when your mod gets done under my library, it should have a little download symbol. As you can see, the little down arrow. You want to go ahead and press A on that. And it'll automatically be disabled. You want to go ahead and hit enable. Another thing is, if, you, if you're at this screen right here and you hit Y for the load order. Okay? Hold on. All right, boom. So if you hit Y for the load order, you only get two gigabytes for your space. If you take a look in the top right hand corner, I've taken up some of that, so I only have 1.37 gigabytes remaining. That means you have two gigabytes of space to use with the amount of mods that you have. I guess they couldn't go past it, probably due to the limitations of the Xbox One or something like that. So once you have downloaded the mods you want and you have them enabled via the little check marks right here, Back out to the main menu of the game, it's going to tell you the mod selection slash load order has changed and it will read now, it'll now reload your game data files with the mods. Okay, once you've made your way back to the main menu, main menu and it's reloaded your game data files, you want to go ahead and continue your current game or if you want to, you can actually start a new game if the mod requires that. Make sure you read the description. If you saw where I was with the hired guns thing, uh, I had rate, download, and a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, and then to the right of that was actually the description, which told you how to activate the mod and a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so okay, make sure so you read here that. we are in Fallout 4. As you guys can see, I got an MP7. That's because I've loaded this modern uh, firearms mod before. Uh, you could buy the new modern fire. If you download this mod, you could get it from vendors, people that you kill, stuff like that. But if you guys remember, I specifically downloaded the hired guns for this video. So. To activate that, you got to read the description, of course, and it tells us, go under your inventory, go to the MISC location, okay, and play the settings, Hired Guns 3, tape, and follow the menu and instructions. And let's do Hire Companion. We have all these people, all of these people. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with uh, Jesse James, why not? And send Nick Valentine to. Okay. Alright. Send him to there. Yeah. Sure. Yes, he can go there. So here we go. We now have Jesse James, which is a part of the mod. So there you go. That's how to install, download, and enable mods on Fallout 4 in the Xbox One. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.